Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Is a second independence referendum inevitable if Britain votes to leave the EU? I will Scotland have a second referendum vote if Britain as a whole votes to leave the EU. Patrick Harvey? Uh, my personal view is I suspect Scotland will choose to ask itself the question about independence again. Uh, I'll expect to be campaigning for a yes vote again. Uh, not for the same reasons, I have to say, that some on the, the Yes campaign put forward. The Greens have always set out a distinctive path uh, on this one. But I do hope that we don't have to address that question in the context of the UK having voted to leave the European Union. Uh, a political and economic union that I think is of far more value to us in Scotland in forging a more equal, uh, a more socially just and in a more environmentally responsible community of nations. Uh, if we were to see the UK vote to leave the European Union, I think it would be very challenging for those of us who thought that uh, we had better answers to offer for some of the questions such as currency than were put forward by uh, the SNP in 2014. I think it would be very hard for us to say that this is a stable time in which Scotland could make that break particularly uh, as we might be talking about two years or more of negotiations. I think it's far better for Scotland and for the UK, whichever view you take of independence, that we vote together in as big numbers as we possibly can to stay in the European Union and then to turn it into the socially just and progressive and democratic union that it ought to be. All right. Thank you. Um, Ruth Davidson. Just, just a reminder of the question, it's not to rehearse the arguments for in or out, it's about whether the second independence referendum would be inevitable if the UK as a whole voted out but Scotland voted in. No, I don't believe it is inevitable. I, I also uh, believe, uh, actually, that uh, the whole of the UK will vote to stay in. Uh, that's certainly my hope. Um, I think that uh, we had a, a huge discussion about this. So every, certainly every event that I was at during the independence referendum, this was something that was known about and discussed before Scotland passed its vote. We passed a, a clear-cut vote. You know, two million people said we want to stay part of the United Kingdom. And I've never understood the argument that the SNP has put forward that says that being part of the, the wider EU, uh, if there was to be a Brexit, uh, where we export 15% of our goods and services is so important that we would have to leave a union where we export 64% of our goods and services. Um, but it's a really easy one to solve. It's a really easy one to solve because before the independence referendum, everybody senior in the SNP said it was once in a generation. Since then, they've refused to say that again, so I'll ask John to say it tonight. Okay. Yeah. John? I think um, she's only asking you to say that. Well, <laughs> is she not answer, uh, am I not to answer the other question? But you could answer well, hers well, first. Yeah. Well, well, the, the, view, the view I take about this is that the people of Scotland are the people that will decide whether Scotland should be an independent country. And nobody, absolutely nobody, at least of all me, can take away the right of the people of Scotland to decide if they want to have another referendum and to decide if they want to be an independent country. And so I think that's, that's an issue in the hands of the people of Scotland to decide uh, when and if that happens. Now, on the substantive Sorry, can question... Sorry, I just stop you there? How, does, how do the people of Scotland decide whether to have a referendum? Unless you have a referendum on whether to have a referendum. Well, there must, what there must be is... This, what there would a have nationalist to be, party has to legislate have, for it. What there people. would have to be is just demonstrably clear support that people in Scotland wanted there to be an independence referendum and for Scotland to be an independent country. And ultimately, that issue has to be resolved in a referendum where people are free to vote the way they choose in that referendum. And how would it be affected, now, come to the main point, about if, if, if the rest of Britain voted out and Scotland voted in? Well, the first thing I want to say is to agree with Patrick that I hope people will vote and vote decisively to stay in the European Union. I will be arguing for that. The SNP will be arguing for that. The Scottish Government will be arguing for that because we believe that to be advantageous for the social and economic and environmental well-being of people in Scotland. So those are, that's the argument I will put forward. Now, if we find ourselves in a situation where Scotland, for example, has voted decisively in favour of EU membership, but we are taken out of the EU because of votes out with the United Kingdom, 
fundamentally the promise that was given to people in the Scottish referendum that you had to vote no to stay in the EU, that was the argument put forward, you must vote no to stay in the EU, then I think fundamentally part of the promise of the no campaign has been breached and circumstances change in relation to the question of a further referendum again. Are you genuinely trying to... Is, are you genuinely trying to claim that the last Scottish independence referendum was actually a referendum on membership of the EU? Because I don't remember that. Well, what I'm saying is that, well... <laughs> on, a, on a constant basis, Tim, one of the arguments put forward by the No campaign, it's put forward by people around this table, was that the only way you could secure Scotland's membership of the European Union was to vote no, because that guaranteed your membership as part of the United Kingdom. And what I'm warning and cautioning about is that what the, the gamble the Prime Minister has taken with the EU referendum jeopardises Scotland's membership of the EU, and that was not what the Prime Minister right. promised right. Now, in the Scottish well, referendum. Oh, 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 I, uh, think that, I, think, I think people are sick and tired of the SNP holding the entire country hostage and saying that whenever... <laughs> Whenever there is a policy, whenever there is a policy that the union as a whole wishes to follow, they will hold a referendum and leave. Now think about it. Let's say that actually happened. Let's say that Britain votes to leave the EU and Scotland then votes to go into it. What would happen on the basis of the finances that the SNP has left Scotland with? You'd have austerity forced upon you by the European Central Bank. So it's not even something you would want if you got it. All right. Let me hear from some members. Hold on. Hear from I come to you. Yeah, the woman there, in the, just two in, in the fourth row. Yes, you. I thought we voted to stay in the UK in 2014. What's changed? Uh, and what, in your view, has changed? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. So, what? Fifty-five point three percent of the Scottish population voted no. So, if 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 the if the UK as a whole voted Brexit. What would you think then? I think it would uh, give the SNP an opportunity and an excuse to hold another referendum. And would you still vote no? Yes. Even if it meant not being in the year, OK? Yeah. And, and by uh, the way, Scottish Jen, Eurosceptics on, no. do exist. Scottish Eurosceptics do yeah, exist. You've said that One already. recent poll yeah. showed that 36% of Scottish people want yeah. to leave the EU. <laughs> the SNP needs to stop characterising all Scots. Jenny as being Mara. SNP. Jenny Mara. Well, I don't think that the UK will uh, vote to leave the European Union. I don't think people want to take that risk overall uh, with the jobs and, uh, and the economy. But, you know, if the UK does vote to come out and Scotland uh, votes to stay, then it will very much be up to the people of Scotland, as John says, as the, and as the First Minister says, if they want a second, second referendum. However, the means to that, I think, would be if the SNP were to put it in their manifesto. And I think that's a key question for this election coming up, whether John's party will put a second referendum in their manifesto. Because if that did happen, there are big questions, as Tim said, about currency. You would then be in a situation, I mean, the SNP said they wanted to keep the pound, so we'd be in a sterling zone with the rest of the UK who would be out of the EU. I think we would be running the largest deficit out of any EU country. We'd be under a lot of pressure to join the euro. There is no guarantees that accession to the EU or as a continuing state, as John previously argued, would be guaranteed. But I believe that Scotland is best within the UK and that the UK is best within the EU and that's what I'll be campaigning I for. Believe, I cannot believe I've just heard the Labour Party selling the jersey on a second independence referendum sitting next to me right now. There's such a mess on this. You've got candidates standing that support independence. Half of your candidates are putting out things saying a once in a generation decision, let's hold Nicola Sturgeon to that promise on independence. And you're sitting no. here saying John no. Swinney's right that this could no. happen. I let's think get yourself no. in order. They said before the referendum it was once in a generation. No. The people of this country made a choice. They voted, more than two million people voted to stay in. And I we should honour no that well. choice and we should make sure yeah. Yeah. that we speak up to the people who voted no. Uh, will it, will it um, I, think, I think Ruth is right that we should honour the choice that people in Scotland made. It was supposed to be a once in a lifetime opportunity. But the danger that the Conservative Party are imposing on Scotland nice. is that they are now threatening to leave the European Union. I mean, our ancestors would look down with incredulity if they even thought we were considering leaving the continent of Europe and the, all the benefits that come with it. We're not but moving to the Caribbean. No, hold on, Tim. This is, exactly, this is exactly what the Tories have put on Scotland. And the danger is 
that if we do leave, then it opens up the whole issue about independence all over again. And it's not because of the two million voters who voted no. It's because of Ruth's party who is determined you, to keep the on. issue alive. Uh, sorry, you, you say keep it alive. You've got the Prime Minister, I mean, it may not, I don't know how much counts for here, but you've got the Prime Minister urging to stay, a remain vote. So why do you say the Conservative well, Party are in favour I mean, of another vote? large numbers of the Cabinet um, are arguing for exit, credible people on the other side, and it's all because the Tories Less cannot keep themselves happen. together on Europe, I and they're now dividing the country as a result. Okay, I don't me, I, think that's in the interest okay, of Scotland. What I'd like to do, I don't a number, think it's in the right, of the a number of you got your hands up. I'd like, can I just try this? Can I hear from anybody here in the audience who, want, who is going to vote out, and what they think the implication... Oh, a lot of hands going up. And what the implications would be. I'll take you, the, the man there on the gangway. Um, I, I doubt that, in the event of Brexit, that uh, given the, the scale of the, the public finances in Scotland, the gaping big hole that we have, that prove, yeah, basically prove the white paper even more better in Bogrel that the actual you know, the Scottish people will vote to leave the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. a, a, any other Brexit? Uh, 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 yes, the person in the second row from the back there. Um, I think it's ridiculous to suggest that we should vote to rejoin an organisation if we do stay part of it, which costs us billions of pounds every year, which means that Scottish farms and Scottish fisheries are run by Brussels, which means that we don't have control over our own borders and we can choose who comes here, and which means that we have austerity forced on us by the European Union, as we've seen with Greece, as we've seen with Ireland. I have no idea why people would campaign to rejoin or stay part of an organisation which forces Scotland into these situations. So do you yeah. think, do you think um, Nicola Sturgeon and indeed John Swinney's view that, well in Nicola Sturgeon's world, almost certainly there'd be a second independence referendum if the vote was Brexit. Uh, you think that's a policy that won't have traction here in Scotland, people object to it or do you think it'll be something you go through and maybe Scotland votes independent? I think people would object to it on grounds that why would you want to leave um, the United Kingdom and the cost that would come with that to rejoin an organisation which would cost us even more money and which we would then give away the control that we've just took back from our from you. Okay. Yeah. John, John I, think what, I think what that argument uh, doesn't pay attention to is what are the views of the people of Scotland in all of this because if the people of Scotland have voted yes to stay in the European Union and the rest of the United Kingdom votes us out of the European Union, a fundamental promise and commitment that was given to people that by voting no in the Scottish referendum we would secure our membership of the European Union will have been breached. And ultimately, ultimately what I believe is that the, 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 the people of Scotland are sovereign. They're the ones that are entitled to determine their own future and to decide to whom they give their sovereignty. Do they give it to Westminster or do they give it to the European Union or do they retain it for themselves or do they decide to share it with whatever institution they wish to share it with. That is a fundamental choice for the people of Scotland and nobody can take that choice away All from right, the people the man, of Scotland. The man there in the blue shirt, you were shaking your head at that. Are we holding politicians to say, uh, to stick to the promises? Because you promised it was once in a lifetime. So, what's the deal? What was the nature of the promise that if Scotland voted no to independence, it would mean you were guaranteed to stay in the EU? Because there'd already been the promise of a referendum on that. But, 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 but from Nobody the, from, can promise from that. The, from and the it was argue, every single the debate I did, you brought it up every single time. People knew when they were voting at the independence referendum that the Conservative Party had said that we would have a referendum on the European Union and everyone would have their say. And I think that... Well, Ruth, come on. You, you listened to the same debates as I did. The Prime I was Minister, in them. The Prime Minister and the SNP raised the Prime, this every no, single the Prime, time, John. The Prime every Minister, single time you used The Prime Minister was this. here saying to people, if you want to secure your place in the European Union, you cannot choose to vote yes because that won't guarantee you membership. You've got to vote no. Entry. That was the promise that the Prime Minister made to the people right. of Scotland. And do you know the promise that, that you made? Broken. Every single if, if time you made a Brexit. promise that you would honour the referendum result, you wouldn't call a second one, it was once in a generation, uh, your boss Nicola Sturgeon signed the Edinburgh Agreement that said we will respect the result. Why are you not respecting we, the result we, that we had well, 18 months ago? We've entirely... We've, we've entirely respected the result. We have worked to secure the work of the Smith Commission. We have worked, 
<laughs> we've worked to secure the, the, the Smith Commission that agreed the further powers after it. We've, we've worked to deliver the Scotland Bill, which Do Parliament you know? will consider in the next couple of weeks. We've respected the result, but fundamentally, we respect the right of the people of Scotland to determine their own constitutional right. future. Which That's is why there's a referendum on the people of Scotland. Because yeah. 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 their votes will be counted. I mean, there's, there's hardly a week goes by, John, that you don't seek an opportunity to say, if this does not happen on our terms, we're going to have another independence Absolutely. referendum. That's exactly what happened. You, bet you betrayed the trust of people who said, people, you were promised to the people of Scotland that there would be a once in a lifetime opportunity. You have gone back on that promise. And I think people in Scotland will not forgive you for that.